What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Jazbees 15 box NBA mixture just sold out. Features five boxes of Optic Choice and 10 boxes of Prism Mega. Pikachu number three, guys. And we're giving away two Super Bowl square spots at the end. So let's do the break first. And then we'll gather up the names. All right, so this is the second half of the... Uh, the uh, Prism Megas and the Optic is the last five boxes of the case. We'll start with the Megas first. Nothing too crazy fancy about these ones. You're just looking for like the pink ice parallels. You could get occasional silvers, occasional numbered cards, and then occasional autographs potentially. Just depends. We did hit one autograph in the last ten boxers, so we'll see what we can get out of here. We'll do five at a time. Five at a time here. Here we go. D Brooks. Of course it's blocked. Of course it's blocked.
Cade Cunningham. And another teaser with David Johnson. So did he quit playing football and went to basketball? You're David Johnson, Michael? Giddy. I probably have, I feel like. I've been breaking since 2016, so I might have hit a million packs by now. What? A customer, Logan just said, I wonder if you've opened a million packs by now. That would be crazy. I think so. I mean, we did the million dollar rip party in in uh, Tops in Dallas a few years ago, me and Nick. And we did like 18 cases of Series 1. So you gotta figure out how many packs that shit is. And, yeah, and then on top of just all the Series 1, all the Bowman I've done, all the Prism I've done, I'd probably hit a million packs by now. I mean, we live in an era now of high-end stuff, so that probably slowed down the process a little bit because, you know, one-pack boxes and stuff like that, but, wow, that's a cool card. Do you think you've opened the $1 million with the product? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Million dollars the product? Yes. <laughs> Have I hit a million dollars worth of cards for customers? Probably. I feel like I've almost probably hit that already. Oh, definitely my hands have arthritis for sure. Carpal <laughs> tunnel, actually. That's because no one uses it, and then it's on for, and then it's on for like twenty four hours of the day. No one turns it off. That's also the reason why. I turn it off on. But every time I come back to it, it's on. It's on, yeah. Well, Evan uses it, I guess, during the day, maybe in the store. And the ceremony was perfect. Bro, they blo they blocked the NFL Honors show because East Coaster is gonna see it first, so we have to wait till nine o'clock to watch it. But but Adam Schefter is already announcing all the people that are winning awards. Play for what NFL? Yeah. Rookie of the year was a Texan sweep. They gave it to Will Anderson Jr. and uh, C.J. Stroud. And then um, Miles Garrett won Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah. I don't know who else was in that category. Who else was in that one? TJ Watt was in there too. I don't know if they announced the MVP yet though. Watch, it's gonna be Kyle Murray. Murray. It should be Lamar, I feel like, but I don't know. I'm more, I'm most curious about comeback player of the year. Yeah, that one you want to say? Oh yeah, well they're gonna give it to Demar Hamlin because he just came back from what he went through. From but I get that. Don't get me wrong, but. You kind of like also cheating other players that really fought through adversity to get back like you know what's funny? to the level. Cause like last year when that shit happened, everybody was like felt so bad for him. Yeah, yeah. Everyone loved him. And now, <laughs> well, you know what's so funny? A lot of accounts that I follow on Twitter were like, "Demar Hamlin is inactive, right? Inactive for the first whatever weeks," and they were trying to play it off like, "Oh, maybe they're just cautious." I'm like, "No, bro. Unfortunately, he's just not that good." Yeah. Like, they're only not playing him because he's he's not good enough. Like, he, he's always been, like, a third stringer, really. Barely making the team, so. I was like, so sorry, I'm not trying to be mean to DeMar, but. <laughs> it's like, dude, he's not, he's not playing because he's just not that good. But, uh, I mean, I'm not going to be upset if they give it to him, but. You're not going to riot? No, I'm not going to riot. I mean, I should have rioted last year, though. Brandon Ground coming back from from a uh, torn Achilles at his late age of like 35, 36 he is, and he had 10 plus sacks. I mean, that's pretty impressive. I mean, if anything, I think Baker will probably get it. I think Joe Flacco could deserve it too, but his was more second half of the season. I think Baker should get it though. I feel like he should. Let me see. Let's see if they already announced that stuff. So Christian McCaffrey wins Offensive Player of the Year. Kevin Stefanski coach wins Coach of the Year for the Browns. Really? Yeah. 
he actually went through a lot of adversity. All the injuries they had, yeah. and still making the playoffs, and yeah. they got be, smoked. But. Yeah, it could have been him. I mean, it could have been Steichen too with Colts. It could have. It could have been a lot of coaches this year. I think Jordan Love would have won something if he like played last year and it was really crappy and then played way better like he did this year. But this was really his first full year as a starter, so. When you go to uh, spring training, are you taking any days off? Uh, or just going Saturday or something? I'm going to take uh, Friday off. Friday? Okay. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait, Monday. Because I won't be back. Monday? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to see if I can try to cover that day. Because then I'm going to call off a day next week. The next week. Like the week that I'm going to be gone? Well, no, I'm going to be. I'm going to go. I'm going the next weekend after you. So, if you're not working that Monday, I can tell him I can work that Monday. And then I'm off Saturday. And I'm calling off Saturday. The following week. So, does that mean I have to switch with you? No, I don't think you have to. Not but to I'm just going to cover you so that way I don't have to use a day. I will. I will. But if you wanted to switch, we can do it. Well, actually, I mean. Yeah, confirm with you, but regardless, I mean. If you don't work on, if you do work on Monday, then I can't switch with you. Because <laughs> then I, I'm already working Friday. second half right here and it looks like we might have an autograph in the first box. Wow. And they were in Mahomes. They were Was it Miko Harmon? One was Miko Harmon. Oh okay. It was a play though. It wasn't a, Oh okay. The other one was uh Akoya. Was that that mixer that you guys the uh, one was trying to Oh, uh, nice. well that box was actually just a one box break. Uh -huh. But in the mixer there was a one of one laundry tag Oh shit. Alan Ridley. Oh my god. Anthony Edwards is playing still. 26, 9, and 3. What does that come up to? 26 plus 9 and 3, 12, 12, 12 plus 26. Is that 38? Wow. I think he actually has exact. Yes! He did get he it. it? <laughs> yeah, I had to get 37 and a half. Oh my god. I'm exactly. And then Luca? Luca hit 53 and I needed 52. Beginner's luck mojo. And I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole in a thunder play. I'm just gonna have a crazy one. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking I want to buy up a couple of those Trey Mans that Nick has in the showcases over. Trey Man? Yeah, the Thunder traded him today for Gordon Hayward. Trey Man hasn't really played at all for the Thunder, but that dude's a baller. He just doesn't have fine. He can't find time to play. 
And the Hornets, they're crappy and they're all pretty boys over there, so he's probably going to get a lot of playing time. Um, Sam, yeah, uh, I've been a little busy, to be honest, on the schedule, uh, so I haven't filtered it up or anything like that, and uh, I think since you got in, I think we've sold a couple spots, maybe, we're down to 15, so um, I'm not sure if, if I'm going to filler it up with all those teams, or maybe split them up into two different fillers, so I'll get back to you in a little bit, like I said, I've been pretty busy doing other breaks, so I just haven't had time to maybe do that stuff. But uh, Flawless definitely is a lot closer now. It's at 11. Um, so, yeah, if you want to check back in a little bit. Like I said, the schedule's right here. Um, like I said, not, not like I haven't been doing anything. I've just been pretty busy doing other stuff. But I'll probably have to fill that up at some point tonight. But it's still halfway there. All right, first autograph here is Danny Shays. Like I said, we're still live for another like four hours, so there's still plenty of time, man. I'm hoping we can probably fill that up soon and then sell some spots in an R&B. I think yesterday we might have done a really expensive one and it worked, so maybe I'll just do that uh, during my lunch break. Kaminga Silver. Sadiq Bay. Brandon Boston Jr. Bradley Beal Dominators Green. Cade Cunningham. Dio Maladon. There's Trey Mann, baby. He's going to get a chance to play over there in Charlotte. Hopefully, he balls out. Tomfield, Donald Silver. There's Evan Mobley. <laughs> Bassey Silver. Nice Giannis, card number one right there. That's a great photo. They're getting smoked today, though. Toscana Anderson. Don't worry though, Sam. I'll do my best to try to fill that up as soon as possible. And uh, like I said, hopefully we can still sell it out tonight. Like I said, we're busy, so that's the good thing. Is that we have eyes right now. People are watching, you know. Not many people watching as uh, normal, but a lot of people here, what they like to do, honestly, is they buy and watch later. You know, obviously, life sometimes gets a little too busy. So, um, as long as we're selling spots and breaks and breaking, uh, the breaks usually tend to flow and, you know, gain momentum. So, 
I said, during my lunch break and stuff like that, I'll figure out a filler I can post up for that luminaries and we can try to sell it out tonight. Interesting back to back. Booker, Kaminga, Rashawn Holmes, Silver, Chris Duarte, Scotty Barnes. Tamar DeRozan. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Does Rui have 11 points yet? <laughs> this game just started. <laughs> oh, there he is. Uh, I need a, uh, so to hit my leg, I need a uh, 12 or more rebounds for Jokic. That's kind of a lot. I know, but. He usually does really well, and he just, like, gets a triple-double against the Lakers. Here he has, like, four assists. All right, guys. Okay, so nothing super crazy there. We did get an autograph, though. But here's all the good stuff here, guys. Good luck. autograph coming up. Santi Aldama. On card there for the Memphis Grizzlies. Going to Logan. Logan. Jared Butler, ready rookie. Jermaine Grant to 88. And then JT Thor and Alperin Sengun for the Houston Rockets. Going to Jeremy Smith. It's a hit, Logan. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter if he's good or not. It's a hit. Wow, another Raider rookie autograph. Knicks. Quinn Grimes. I think he just got traded, though. New York Knicks. Going to Josh. A Karis LeVert. And a Drew Holiday. Number 88. Then we got Jason Preston for the Clippers. And nice Jalen Suggs. For the magic going to Tris. All right, three more. So, so far, two Raider rookie autographs, though. I'm cool with some Raider rookie autographs. Whoa, it's an optograph, it looks like. Isaiah Jackson, which is still a rookie autograph, just an optograph. For the Indiana Pacers going to Josh. We've got a little Lulu, red, green. And there's an Isaiah Jackson rated rookie. That's number to 88. 757 out of 88. Then we got Davion Mitchell for the Sacramento Kings and then Jared Butler.
Wow, Austin Reese finally got a haircut. Or at least I didn't notice it. I've got Bones Island. And how about a Dennis Rodman? Optigrass for the Pistons. Going to John. The Worm. Denny Abdija. A little Lou Dort for my Thunder out of 88. And Evan Mobley and Greg Brown Jr. Uh, Matt, if you look at the website, buddy, there's still 15 teams left, buddy. So we have not broken that yet. Once it sells out, then we can break it. All right, last box here, guys. Good luck. Manu Ginobili. Autographs for the Spurs. Going to Josh. I have way better autographs than you. I mean, last one we did get a Kate Cunningham redemption, but... Feels like it was a little bit better. TJ Warren. To 88 for the Pacers. And then we got a Kate Cunningham. Oh, we got three. Well, actually, sorry. The Kate's the numbered one. Hell yeah. Uh, Pistons going to John. 81 out of 88. That's sweet. And then Usman Garuba with a Luca Garza. All righty. So there you go. Boom. Pretty fun autographs. Two Raider rookie autographs. Thank you guys. Thank you for the fill. Now, give away some Super Bowl square spots, guys. Now, again, these are the last two from like any mini mixer spots or anything like that. The remaining Super Bowl squares we're going to sell via the mixers. So if you buy into the mixer, you automatically get a square. Switching scenes. And like I said, top two names get into these Super Bowl squares. Um, let's copy the list. Roll dice. Five and a one, six. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times, six times, five, one, six. Josh and Tristan was the first out, and he's the top name as well. There you go. Top two names are in, guys. Five and a one, six, six. Thank you guys for buying in, and congrats, guys. Let's put your guys' names into the squares here. Like I said, NBA Mixer 3 was that one. All right, there you go. Awesome. So like I said, no more squares being given away in other breaks, guys. Just the memorabilia mixer straight up and the card mixer straight up. And like I said, the memorabilia mixer is pretty close, guys. A lot closer than it looks. 
we can sell this filler out today in this last full spot, we would only need to sell seven more spots straight up in a filler or straight up, guys. So, again, still ways to win without having to pay the full price. But if we can sell a couple more straight up spots, guys, we can easily do this tomorrow. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.